Okay, today we are going to test out a couple of EWS adapter boards. Um, this is a rather expensive board. This is the one that's about $65, $70 from China. The China board, one thing I noticed is you have to turn the cable twist it when you're hooking it up to the AK-90. Would have been nice if they would have done that a little better. Um, this is our EWS number four. Um, I do like the Chinese adapter for the fact that you put the board on there, spin the locks, and it's pretty well done. There's no goofing around. We'll pick our chip which is the 2L86D, and then we will read the EWS. And sometimes it'll take a second to get going. It seems that on both of these adapters, sometimes you have to move the board around to make contact with the pins. Okay, so we've saved our bin file, EWS Analyze. We have our VIN number, tells you it's EWS odometer. It tells you that three keys are used. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can read the same EWS. And I have to admit, the Chinese adapter not sure if you can see it in the video or not, but it has spring-loaded pins that actually come up and touch the board. Whereas on the other one, these are just nubs that are sticking up, and you have to make sure that it makes contact. Um, trying to get the board lined up on the expensive one can be a chore. Um, the plug is easier to use. It is indexed, so you know which way it goes. Um, let's see if we can read the EWS again. And just like the other board, it seems like you have to wiggle it around to get it to work. And it takes a minute or two. Okay, so we have saved our bin file. Let's EWS analyze. We have the same information, one, two, three, so we would be able to make a key for this. So there you have it. Um, it's kind of up to everybody in their own personal choice. I think they're both great. Um, I keep both of them around. I bought the more expensive one. And then I bought the Chinese one. The Chinese one is on the van. Um, it works out great for me. Have a great day.